You know who's going to get annihilated right now? One of these players here. Because either it's Ganondorf, you cook, or get cooked. I'm happy he's going Ganondorf and not the Bowser. I always love watching Dumpling King play Ganondorf. It's like it's like his bread and butter, you know what oh I mean? Oh my oh, god. That, oh, but Do you see what I mean? This yeah. man just plays a whole different game. The, the only man who could edge guard John Numbers. <laughs> uh, and then you get off stage and you're edge guarded again. Yeah. Uh, oh. oh. Oh, found the, the flame stroke to the down smash. Not gonna fall. Oh my gosh. Just misspaced it a little bit. But you know what? It kept John Number no, John Numbers at bay. Yeah. It's like if you're gonna be too aggressive, you're gonna get hits. Yeah. John knows how far exactly that smash attack's going. So oh good trade. You'll take that all day. Now, if it's something you notice, like he understood that even jabbing the shield on John wasn't going to break it, and it mm. wasn't going for a break there. But once the shield is low enough, you can throw out a smash attack, and there's not going to be a real punish there, unless John is going to parry. And I've never seen him parry that. Yeah, great catch with the nair though. Found John jumping in, and now John has to find a kill on a heavy dumpling king. But it's easy when you do that. Up be out of shield on Ganon is like a risky option, and it did not pay off there. But uh-oh, air dodge has been burned. Ah, uh, nothing coming out, though. Yeah, Dumpling King isn't necessarily one to overextend himself, mm -hmm. but I understand, like, you know, if you take that first stock and you're up against an exploitable... Again? Stop! Stop! Don't do that! <laughs> the up you out of shield, I don't think, is going to cook against We Fit. No, because he can just kind of run away. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that there's any commit move... Wee Fit has it's so committal to where uh, up you out of shield with Ganon is going to hit. Oh, but John, not going for a spike. It's the Dumpling King recovering almost for free there. Yeah, using that down B to get low and then making his way back. Pretty creative recovery. I like that John Numbers actually spent his jump there. We're going to see if Dumpling King can try and catch on that habits. Yeah. Recovering uh, high? Good stuff. Ooh. I feel like the flame choke at ledge there gave up a little bit too much of Dumpling King's game plan. Found a quick reversal from John Numbers, and now he's dead. And now John took him from one side of the stage to the other to an F smash. But Dumbling King responding with an up smash of his own. But on the platform, what's going to happen? Oh, that shield damage is so disgusting. Holy moly. Oh, no way. Oh, oh, thanks, Soccer Ball. You're the best. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, Dumbling King was never really good at sports in high school. Yeah. <laughs> he was always picked last for a reason. Like, he just I'm, never hit the ball back. Oh, my. But he can hit John for that second stop. There it is. You know what? Maybe we were wrong, Dumbling King. Maybe the up E is worth it. All right. Only if John like throws out a move and like it's a guarantee. Yeah. Hit. Ooh, down tilt, get off me! And now Dumbling King finds himself at ledge. Oh, oh. pay your respects, salute the sun. F and chat, F and chat. Yeah, for real, for real. Well, I think this is Dumbling King just kind of didn't realize that it was Sun Salutation that was charged up and not just deep breathing. Mm -hmm. Because you know there are like some different. There's a different visual cue for that. Sun Salutation will be like the flashing lights, and then Deep Breathing will look like a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. And that was a great parry. So right there, it's already charged up. And he does have both Deep Breathing and Sun Sal. Yeah. So he thought he was safe. Ugh. Instead, he got killed. Sun. Because even if it wasn't charged up, yeah, you'll be hit by a sun, but it's not going to be anything more than just like a scratch. Yeah. Or a sunburn in that matter. This is like a third degree burn, though. They should have made Flame Choke a bit scarier. Like It, it is scary. I'm... It's uh, no. <laughs> look at that! Terrifying! <laughs> From my mouth to Dumbling King's ears. Look, I'm more scared of like Incineroar's Alolan Whip, and I think that's wrong, you know? Incineroar's a giant cat. Ganondorf is the Wizard of Darkness. Have you ever had a cat? No. They can be pretty terrifying <laughs> when they're in the mood. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dumbling King making that look like Joker's recovery, the way he went from all the way to the bottom. And just look ledge. at this, John off stage, Dumbling King trying to set something up. But yeah, that soccer ball into that dash attack, he's fallen for that about twice now. Yeah, the ledge trapping just hasn't been there for Dumbling King these last two games, but you don't need to ledge trap when you land flame choke, you just need to tech read. I like this aggression at ledge though, using that flame choke to actually mm. stuff out John's options. You can't what low profile. Read. You can't low profile the flame choke, it'll scoop you up. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're getting, we're getting fancy. We're getting fancy. All right, but Dumpling King has to be just a little bit fancier. Oh, try to miss oh, the four there. And low profile the back air. Uh -oh. All right, great boots. Awesome angle that that sends at. Makes it super hard to get back to stage. Dumpling King opting not to edge guard. Just go for the ledge trapping. Oh, okay. Ah. Yeah, you see, it's soccer ball the dash attack every time. And Dumpling yeah. King just isn't reading that. Okay. Oh, the the extra. How many times do we have to go over this? All we, right. Yeah. Well, just like yes. that back yes. air. We fit has a longer roll. It has like 
the third longest roll in the game. Double King just has to keep remembering that. John was waiting for that header spike. We got the neutral air. Is we Fit Trainer a human? Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Terminator, oh. to be honest, yeah. the way John plays her. Yeah, for real. Oh! She came back in time for our gains. Yeah. John finding the F-Tilt, sending up. Oh my gosh, that was almost a perfectly placed soccer ball. Dumpling King having trouble ledge trapping, also having trouble making it back from the ledge. That perfect storm. Uh -oh. Uh, weak spit. Yep. No. Weak hit. We, uh. we got the weirdo angle. Yeah. Send him to the side. Uh -huh. Dumpling King like, do I want to fist bump this yeah. man? <laughs> All right, I guess I will. After that, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. But that was very smart. I just think Dumpling King was overextending a little bit, and I think we could have had some better moments if he would just recognize like these moments right here where he was actually pressuring John with these dash attacks oh. and that was such a good trade because yeah. you realize it's so difficult to get even one stock off of John so I might as well just take it yeah for real I feel like whenever you're the heavier character you know putting that game in a 2v2 like it you've increased your odds of winning but look at this missed that roll completely he's just inside of it yeah, that's tough, but lands with a back air. Caught him off guard, I guess. But that was so tough. Got the off angle. Good job by John to yeah. drift in enough to get that. I think it was purposeful. It was, but I mean, even Dumbling King was like, oh, like you just see him bare his teeth there. He's like, I was not expecting that. Yeah, absolutely. I think we fit trainers like an animatronic. An animatronic? I don't know. Like Five Nights at Freddy's Let's get a good stretch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah You're wobbling. Try Ooh. to check your balance. Oh, God, the future Terrifying. of AI is awful. Yeah. Or maybe it's like a human in a suit. A human in a suit? Yeah. Like, that's a, a, that's a, a pretty tight-forming suit. suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's got to be like one of those little, uh, like, the cloth things. Like, you know, you see the green man or something for, like, yeah, yeah. you know, the skin-tight suits. Yeah, and then, or it's like someone in a green screen suit, like you're saying.